Hi, today we are talking about one of my other plants called a phytonia or the easier word, mini pink. So this plant, uh, there's so many things I love about it. Its leaves are beautiful. It does not flower, but the variegation on its leaves are pink and the dark green and it just makes it so beautiful. The stems have a slight fluff to them. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. The stems have a nice fluff to them. So when watering these type of plants, you do not want to water from above because you can get it caught in the fur and that can cause mold and different problems. So you water under the leaves. Like if you would move it out, and you would water it under the soil about right here. To test if your plant needs to be watered, stick your finger into the soil about two inches deep, and make. And if it is dry, then it needs to be watered. So, these are a tropical kind of plant, and they're rather easy to grow. Actually, you can fertilize it, but I wouldn't really. I don't fertilize my plants, and they do just fine. But if you would like to fertilize it, go ahead. That's not on me. So, temperature-wise, oh wait, fertilization, back one. So, some fertilizers you use, make sure it's the right kind and it's what it needs. But some plants that have gone without fertilizer, if you just start fertilizing them, you can do too much or you can send it into shock and it can die, which sounds funny, but it actually happens with plants. And temperature is about room temperature, 60 to 80 um, water, I water it usually once a week, every Thursday I water it, the growth rate, like I said, is fast, you don't want to keep it in light, because in one of my other videos, what I have said about keeping it in direct sunlight, the light will burn the leaves, and when the leaves are burnt, it can kill the plant, like, if you leave it there too long, so, I keep mine on my plant shelf, and I keep it out of direct light, under some foliage plants or you know, bigger tropical plants so that gives it a kind of shade but it still gives it sun and it can still grow on that another good thing about these is they're good for air purifying they're not like the best like peace lilies I would recommend pothos mothers-in-law tongue also known as snake plants but these can help if you're in an office and you like to get some kind of color in there so I only have one of these plants right now, but I believe they come in different color variations, I'm pretty sure. But there's another cool thing I'd like to talk about. So the leaves are kind of wavy, kind of like um, if you fold the paper, stuff like that. Or you can compare it to a potato chip, I'm guessing, yeah, if that's your thing. So they're wavy, like I said before, I'm not going to touch it too much because... The oil from your hands can get on the plant, and too much touching and grabbing and stuff, plucking can hurt it, so I don't really like to do that, but another thing I should state in this video, when, if you're going to start an indoor garden or you're buying plants for indoors, it is best to spritz them with water, not directly but like a slight mist so it makes sure you don't get any insects or stuff you don't want because that has happened before not I've never had it happen because I take care of my plants but even if you do take care of them I know some people who can get flake and stuff like that spider mites if you want to check for spider mites check down by the soil of the plant for little webs and you should find them fairly easily so, when I buy plants, I keep all the tags. So, I have all the tags from all my indoor plants here. And I have a lot of them. But I like to make sure if I ever need to go back and check what kind it is or the company, I can go back and check and make sure. So, that's about it. That's all I have for um, my plant this time. But... If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Like, subscribe if you want. See you next time.